Creating your personalized GMAT study plan. Hello, and welcome to today's session where we dive deep into the art of creating a personalized GMAT study plan. Whether you're a beginner or just looking for ways to improve your existing plan, this video is for you. Preparation is the key, and having a plan tailored to your needs can make all the difference. Every student is unique. Your strengths, weaknesses, learning pace, and even your daily routine matter when studying for the GMAT. Personalizing your GMAT study plan allows you to 1. Focus on your weak points. Ensure you spend more time on areas you find challenging. 2. Leverage your strengths. By knowing what you're good at, you can boost your confidence and motivation. 3. Fit GMAT prep into your life. Whether you're a student, a professional, or juggling other responsibilities, a tailored plan works with your schedule. Before you draft a plan, you need to know where you stand. Here's how. 1. Take a diagnostic test. This will give you a clear picture of your strengths and weaknesses. 2. Analyze the results. Break down your scores by section, quantitative, verbal, etc., and identify the areas you struggled in. 3. Set a target score. Understand the GMAT scores required for your desired schools. This will give you a clear goal to work towards. The duration of your study plan will depend on 1. Your starting point versus target score. If there's a big gap, you might need longer. 2. Hours you can dedicate daily. The more time you can put in daily, the shorter your overall prep time can be. 3. Other commitments, work, family, other exams, etc. will all play a part in determining your study duration. A good rule of thumb, for every 50 points improvement, you might need approximately 20 to 30 hours of study. Now that you have a time frame, break it down. 1. Assign days for different sections, e.g., Mondays for quantitative, Tuesdays for verbal, etc. 2. Mix study and practice. After a few days of learning, dedicate time to solve GMAT-like questions. 3. Weekly reviews. Every weekend, take some time to review what you've learned and practiced during the week. Using the right resources is crucial. 1. Official guide. Og. Always start with the OG for the most accurate representation of GMAT questions. 2. Supplementary materials. There are many GMAT prep books and online resources available. Choose ones that fit your learning style and needs. 3. Practice tests. Take these regularly to gauge your progress. Remember, it's not just about solving but also analyzing your mistakes. Studying for the GMAT can be intense. Here's how to stay motivated. 1. Set short-term goals. Celebrate when you achieve them. 2. Visualize your dream school. Keep your end goal in sight. 3. Find a study buddy. Sometimes, having someone to share the journey can make all the difference. 4. Remember why you started. Revisit your reasons whenever you feel low. Creating a personalized GMAT study plan isn't just about maximizing your score potential. It's about making the journey more manageable and tailored to you. We hope this video has provided some insights to get you started. Best of luck with your GMAT preparation, and remember, with dedication and the right plan, success is just around the corner.